Alrighty, for this tutorial we are going to be learning how to make um, a GG plot. So we'll go ahead and delete everything just so we don't have anything. Okay, so we've already got all of our information listed right here. So we're going to just go ahead and copy this over. This is from the survey that we've used for project one as well. Um, we just have it saved in a Dropbox so it's easier. We have this remove list to remove any of the data that we've had. Um, and then we have the attach and the summary of it and then we want to um, import these three libraries. So we're going to go ahead and enter this in and it's working. Alrighty, perfect. So we have this my data right here over in the workspace. So we can go ahead and look at that. And this is the data from the survey. So we've got, you know, anxiety, demographics about it, the frequency that you use your computer for news or career worth. worth. Um, we're going to be looking at the comfort level right now and the experience with statistics. Now, if you can see, Statistica does not have any data on any of them, so nobody's ever used Statistica, as well as this M+. No one has used that either, so we won't even be including those in our data because that will give us skewed data. Alrighty, so we're going to go back over to here because it's where my main stuff is. Um, so now that we have that, we're going to create a C bind of the comfort level. So we're going to do comfort, we're going to type comfort and then do C bind comfort because that is what it's labeled on the my data and then entered oh yay so we've got comfort right here we're then going to make um, an index just of the values so we're going to name that comfort too and then instead we're not going to put C bind we're going to just put in parentheses what data now if you wanted more you know you could etc etc put in more but we just want this comfort data so that's all we're going to do so and look, now we've got the values right here for comfort two. So good. All right. Now to make a histogram, if we want, histogram is very easy. Just go H I S T, open parentheses, which data that you want to use. We want to do comfort two, and then we can do color equals yellow, and then we can also give the um, dimensions that we want. So the X limb would equal C, lowercase c, um, 0, comma, 5, and then close parentheses, Y limits equal C, open parentheses, 0, comma, 12, close parentheses, close parentheses, there's 2, because we've got the X in parentheses, we've got the Y in parentheses, and then we've got this initial one started. So we've got two of them, so that's good. So then we can enter that. Voila. All right, so we have this frequency table of the comfort level that the students um, had doing research. So, okay, so we've got that. Um, the next thing that we're going to be doing is looking at this statistical experience. I've got this already over here of the statistical data. Um, just so I don't have to type it all in because a lot of times if you do type it in there's that possibility that you could be making mistakes so um, using this R script is also very helpful um, so I'm actually gonna just copy this just to make sure everything's okay and just for time's sake okay we'll go ahead and put this down here we'll go ahead and run it alrighty and we have the total experience of stats now you could also, if you're working, if you're using this workspace, you can also run the code from this area. So um, let's say I wanted to make the histogram for the total stats experience. That's already right here. So I could just highlight that, press control, enter, and it shows up down here. And there we are. There we have the histogram of it. So that's also a very helpful um, function because you can type in the our script and then if you mess up you know it's easier to go back or anything like that and if you've got longer one longer codes you know it'll make it a lot um, easier just to make sure that there aren't any mistakes okay so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to make 
a GG plot. Um, we're going to call this one comfort dot graph. We don't want any spaces. R does not like that. And we're going to do GG plot. The data that you're going to be using, my data, my data. So we're going to go ahead and put my data. And then um, we're going to go ASE. AES, I'm sorry, AES, and then comfort two, and then total experience stats, and enter. Oh no, no graph came up. Well, that's normal. Um, we do have the comfort graph right here, so that is very good news. We just need to add with that. So you could go comfort.graph plus, um, we could do geom point, open parentheses, close parentheses, enter and now we do have a graph so this is very good news just know that the first time you do do this um, first part of the ggplot it's not going to show up anything it is going to show up here but it's not going to show up a graph so you need to add to that ggplot um, the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and jitter the position of it and make the total experience stats a different color so we will continue and we'll go comfort graph plus gm underscore point open parentheses aes and then we're going to spell color full out color and then we're going to do total <clears throat> total experience stats close parentheses we don't need the actual quotes on this um, close parentheses and then we're going to go position equals in parentheses jitter close parentheses so let's see what this has all right looks like it's working okay we've got this the total experience stats for the color um, I'm not sure why that's not pulling all of the information. So I'm going to actually just go ahead and copy over these first two lines and run those. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's why. Because it's a comfort. Because I have the T at the end of it. Okay. So let's try this. Okay. Alrighty, good. Okay, so now we have these different colors for the total experience of the stats. We can look through um, our data. I'm not sure why that's not completely, all the graphs aren't showing up. So, um, I'm not sure. But we'll continue and do the um, key plot um, and troubleshoot that later. So our next point, so I'm going to go ahead and clear this data off here. There's too much data. So all I'm going to do is press Control L and that deletes all the um, workspace from this console. And the next thing we're going to do is the key plot. So I'm actually going to just copy this over because it's a long set of data. Um, but then I'll just go through and explain what each is. Okay, so we're going to open up the key plot and then open parentheses in comfort 2, which we've been using. Um, and then we're going to go total experience stats. Total experience stats. Um, the data is going to be my data. Um, and then we're going to continue with the geom. Geom equals C, open parentheses, open quotations, point, comma, open quotations, smooth, close those parentheses, comma, method is LM, which is linear model. The next thing is the X label. Um, open quotations, comfort level doing research because that is what the comfort two stands for. The Y label would be experience with statistical programming. So we've got that. And then we've got the main amount of experience with statistical programming predicts comfort level doing research. Okay, go ahead and enter this. Alrighty, and we have this quick plot, Q plot or quick plot. So we've got the regression line right here. 
perfect. Um, so we can see that and then this gray part around it is the 95% confidence interval. So we've got that so very good. Um, we have completed just a few um, of these different programming webinars. Alright, thank you.